right now. Uh, you have to pray for us. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Who wants to pray next? No. That's <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Jaden. Um, no, Jaden was not here. If I ask you, Jaden, what do you remember? Stop it. I tell you, what do you remember from the lesson we've done so far? Like, I think the the last month. I suggest like that. What do you remember for the lesson we found? What have we been talking about? Do you remember? Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Um, what my, did we say about Jesus? It was my God. Um, um, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Um, is that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes, Jesus is the Son of God, right? You remember before we mentioned um, Jesus entering Jerusalem and and Good Friday, Easter Sunday. We talked about that as well, right? You remember we talked about that as well. Mm -hmm. So you remember, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what else did we talk about this? I don't know. We also talked about God the Holy Spirit. Yeah, what did we say? God the, God the Holy Spirit is always in a Okay. The Holy Spirit is leaving us to, to guide us and tell us what is good and what is wrong so that He help us in making decisions, right? It also makes us so good. to speak about Jesus, right? And He does, the Holy Spirit does. And you, and you have to do me. Yeah. Um, the Holy Spirit is like Jesus in our body because it is the We say there's God the Father, God the Holy and God the Holy Spirit, okay? And they're the Trinity. He lives in our body. Yeah. So, Natalia, what do you remember? Um, I remember the Son of God and Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right? God bless you. Do you remember when we say when when we were talking about uh, God the Father? We say that God is love. Oh. He created us, and He created the first we family. Who no was in the first family God created? He lived in no money. Who was in the first family God created? Hmm? Who was in the first family God created? Adam and Eve. Okay, what happened to that family? Um, they disobeyed God. Exactly. And, and they did this thing. Yes. And, yes. And then God tells them to go away from there. Exactly. Now you remember everything. Well done, you. Well done. So the first family disobeyed God and, and they committed sin, right? And because of that, because God cannot stand sin, he had to, to make them go away from him, far away from him, right? So, oi, 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 we don't do that. Natanya, we don't do that, please. Thank you. So, um, how did God do to, what did God do to fix that? I don't know. Yeah, this one was. He sent I Jesus. Know. He I... sent Jesus. So how, how does Jesus fix it? Um, 
I was... Listen, it's not your turn to talk. Hey, but, 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 yeah, but hold mommy, on. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, when Jason finished talking, you will have your turn. Thank you. Go on. So, because all of this sin, Jesus came to the earth and he paid the price for, for, for him to, to forgive our sins. So, he did what we were supposed to do. So, what's the price that he paid? How did he pay the price? He died on the cross. Well done. So, the first family God made disobey God. So, for God to face it, he had to create a new family with Jesus, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the family of God. And yeah, exactly. So, we say, how do we enter God's family? How do we, how do we become children of God? How do we enter God's family? Yeah. By obeying the Bible and listening to His word. Yeah, it's by. But the there's that, Jason. You're right. But how we how we become how we enter God's family is is when we believe in Jesus, right? When mm -hmm. we, there's something that happened that made God having to send Jesus Christ. No. What's that thing? No. Sin. No, 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 That's no, sin, no. right? No. That's no, sin. No. So, if I ask you guys, what no. is sin? Sin is sin, sin. is when. Sins are when they I do something bad. Sin is when you do something bad. Like Halloween. Say again, Jaden. Sins mean, means when you do something bad. When you do something bad. Yeah. What is... Hold on a second. Come and sit down. Hurry up, please, JJ. Uh, Tutu. Sit down. No, stand there. Thank you. And stop misbehaving. Sit down Ooh. and behave yourself. All right. So, we, 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 you remember you say, Jaden, that when God created Adam and Eve, Adam disobeyed God, right? And because of that, God has to send him away from him so so sin is this is disobeying god we can fix it later can we finish this one for now okay thank you so sin is disobeying god um it's like committing a crime what is a crime spiritual what is a crime Crime is like when robbers uh, steal people's not for money, but spiritual crime is when like no. What is crime? Just you know, you know, in the world there are laws that you cannot, you, you don't have to, you cannot. Um, you can. What do we say? You, there's there are laws you have to respect, right? So if they say you cannot go into somebody's house and get stuff from that house without permission. What's that? What is that? What is that called? Uh, That's stealing, right? Yeah. Anybody who does that will finish in jail, because this is a crime. It's going against the law. You have to respect other people's property and ask for permission before you touch it. Yeah, because if you take it, then they'll see that it's fine and they'll call the police. Yeah. So, no. sin is knowing what God wants, knowing the good things that God Mommy. wants, and still not I listening to it. To. Okay? So, in James 4, verse 17, the Bible says, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So, if you know the right thing to do, and you don't do it, if you know what is good, if Holy Spirit tell you this is the good thing to do, this is a good decision, and you don't listen and you oh, and you don't no. obey, then that's a sin, right? Yeah. That's disobeying God. No, 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 no. So 
what are the things, the good things that God wants us to do? Loving, love, and, and love one another. You mentioned something before. So, when people ask Jesus, um, what should we do? What, what, uh, how, how can we, um, how can we, how, how can we please, we, yeah, how, how, how what how can we do to please God? How, what, what, they were asking what they should do. Just do what the Bible tells them to do. Yeah, but they were talking about the Ten Commandments, but they were talking about the law, right? So yeah. what law should they follow? And Jesus told them, the two main things to do is to love God and love and love yourself as much mm. as you love your neighbor. Not love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But that, but that's, <laughs> but that's literally what I said. Yeah, it's not okay. Love your neighbor. Yeah, actually, yeah. love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? Yeah. I don't know why I don't. Yeah, you don't either. No, they didn't do it. But... So yeah, now it's coming up because it was a bit strange before. Right, can you see us now, Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, so the first thing is to love God. We love, loving God is putting God first in, in everything we do. In Come front and sit of down. God, it's we go behind God and God. When you put God. anything else before God, is 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 like an uh, that thing becomes like an idol anything or anybody before god becomes like an idol so we need to love god god has to be priority it has to come first in everything we do right this yeah. is how we show our love to god and then we have to love uh, one another right yeah when we do those two things when we put god first and when we love uh, one another how do we how do you love your neighbor how do you love other people by greeting them politely. Yeah, by making sure you don't do anything to hurt them, to hurt their feeling, by your way of acting with them, by your way of talking to them, right? That's how we show love to one another. Okay. Okay. You have to be. You have to be careful. And also by showing them God's love. So, who is guilty of seeing them? Who is sinner? Jesus. Is it just is it just Adam? Is it just Adam? Actually, not Adam. Is Adam. Just... Okay, who is sinner? Um, somebody of God. Satan. Satan. Yes, Satan. No, Satan is the one that does not go. Seya is so one. Um, it's not Seya, it's Satan. Sina, Sina, you said Sina, right? Who is Sina? Who is Sina? Why is everyone a Sina? Because Sina is someone that doesn't obey God. Okay, say again, Jaden. Sina is someone that someone that doesn't obey God. Yeah, I know that's that's the definition, right? So, who is a sinner then? Sinner. Yeah, who is that? Who is this? Who is the sinner? Everyone. We know what a sinner is. It's exactly what you said. So now, who is a sinner? Everyone. Everyone. Why everyone? Because, because after Adam and Eve sin, the world is kept on spreading with sin. Okay, so after Adam and Eve, people have continued sinning against God. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, Jaden? Hmm? Who is Cecina? Everyone. Everyone. Why everyone? Um because of Adam's and Eve sin. Okay, because of what they did, we are all sinners, right? Yeah. There's there's a passage in the Bible. We're gonna read it together. What does the Bible say here? Can you read, can you read for us, Jaden? Hmm? Read that Romans three verse twenty three on the 
Roman everybody. Romans three verse twenty three. For all have sinned, have come short of the glory of God. Yes. So that's exactly what the Bible. When they say all, all is everybody, right? Everyone has sinned. That's exactly the reason why God had to send Jesus, right? Yeah. Because we were all guilty. Because of what Adam did. And because we are all from him, we we're all guilty. And for us to enter, to, to change from Adam family to God family, God had to send Jesus to come and fix. To come and fix the relationship with him, right? Yeah. So what happened when we sinned? You, 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 what happened when Adam and Eve sinned, Jaden? You say you say something at the beginning. What happened when Adam and Eve sin? God put them away from the garden, right? He put them away from his presence. He, the garden of and Eve. Yeah, of, e, of Eden, not of Eve. Oh. So he put them away from him. Okay. So is that is that big sin and small sin? No. Whatever sin you do is still a sin. Okay. Adam and Eve, they ate the food God said not to eat. Do you know what Cain did to his brother? Mm -hmm. Do you know what Cain did to his brother, Abel? Because. What did Cain do to his brother, uh, Abel? He killed him because, okay. because he was jealous. Yeah, out of jealousy, he killed his brother. So can we compare Adam's sin and Cain's sin? No. But the other one only ate of fruit and another one killed his brother. So is there a difference? Is there a big one and a small one? No. Is it? Actually, it isn't. To God, all sins are the same, exactly the same. Even if it's a lie or killing, and killing it doesn't matter or how. Stealing. There's no big sin or small sin. It's just sin. When you sin, you, sin. you, you, you go away from God's presence. Right? God pushes you away. So, there is no big sin. There is no small sin. All sins. God look at sin as equal. It's like sin makes you dirty. There's no big dirty or small dirty. You are just dirty. Okay? And you need Jesus to clean you up, to make you clean again. Like to wash your clothes and make you all white again. Jesus will make us clean for all our sins. Exactly. When we sing, Jesus' blood make, washes us and makes us clean. Okay. Um, Isaiah 59, verse 1 to 2, it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither is he heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquity have separated between you and your God. Like what happened with Adam and Eve, right? Because of what they did, they were separated from God. Sin make a distance between us and God. And your sin have hid his face from you. When you're, it's like when you're dirty, God wants to look at, God don't want to look at you until you clean up. You right? Clean so up. When, when, when you sin and you become dirty, you just turn his face until you're all washed and clean up, wash in the blood of Jesus. When you, until you ask until, for forgiveness. Until you pay for forgiveness. Okay. So how can we fix it when sin happens? To pray to God. Yeah. So when we say when when Adam when when um 
when Adam and Eve sinned against God and God put a distance between between him and them, God, God, well, God still got Adam's God. Hello, God was that. Yeah. yeah, he was. He still was. I God, I mean, we even, we even see God talking to Cain later, right? So um, even if God created a separate, even if sin creates a separation between us and God, it doesn't mean that God is not is stop being our God or God stop loving us. He's still our God and He still loves us. It's like we are not in good term. Like we, um, our relationship is kind of broken, but he's still our God. Imagine, imagine, for example, Jaden, you do something that your dad don't like, right? When he comes back home, he's angry, he's disappointed, he shouts at you. You stop being your dad's child. Because of what you've done. Yeah. Hey, Dad? Hmm? Are you hearing me? Yeah. I was asking this. When you are at home, for example, with your dad, and you do something you know that he don't like, when he comes and he's angry, he tells us you because he's disappointed. Don't be your dad. Don't be your dad. No. Oh, he's still your dad, right? Yeah. At that particular time, you and Daddy are not in good terms. You are not. Yeah. We are not good friends. Until you go and say sorry, Daddy, I will not do it again. Right? Yeah. Then you say, okay, I forgive you, and then you are back to be friend with Daddy again. It's the same thing with God. When we sin, it doesn't mean that God stopped being our God. It means that we have broken something that we need to fix. Okay. And how do we fix it? By apologizing, by saying sorry, and by and 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 by asking for forgiveness. And we and we have the forgiveness because you hear that, Jaden? No. Okay. So when when you do something that daddy daddy at home don't like, when you come and say I'm sorry, daddy, I will not do it again. He forgives you, right? And you're back to be friend with daddy again at home, right? Yeah. The same thing happened with God. When we do anything wrong, and we come back and and we we really we really apologize we really regret what we've done and we say sorry god promised us that whenever we come to him and apologize he will forgive us because of jesus because of what jesus has done on the cross he forgives us everything right yeah. all we have to do and come and say sorry and thank god for the gift of jesus we don't it's not nothing else but that jesus has paid the price already so because of christ we are forgiven yes he has, he has paid the price for all our sins the one we have done and the one we will do everything is being forgiven when he died on the cross one by one okay and that's a that, what is a gift a gift is something that you get for free, right? Yeah. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to do anything for it. You just get it for free. So the Bible says we have forgiveness freely because of Jesus when we repent, when we confess our sin, right? Yeah. So the of forgiveness is free for everyone. So, so what is sin then? Can we, can we, can we, can we recap quickly before we leave? So we say sin is disobeying God, right? It's doing, it's knowing what is good, what is right, but choosing to do the wrong thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sin makes God sad. 
it makes God disappointed in us. But God still loves us. He doesn't stop being our God. Okay? Even though we have sinned, all we have to do is to apologize to God and, and to receive the gift that Jesus gave us, which is forgiveness. Okay? And when we do so, God forgive us and we are back to being good friends with God again. Right? Right? Yeah. Any question? No. So what is saying, Jason? Saying is when we disobey God and we do what God doesn't tell what God doesn't tell us to do. Okay. So what should we do when we sing uh Jaden? How can we make things better when we sing Jaden? Um, um, we pray to God for forgiveness. Yes, we pray to God for forgiveness. And God will forgive us. Why? Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Because Jesus already paid the price, right? Mm -hmm. God, Jesus already gave us that, that amazing gift of forgiveness because he came and he died to pay the price. So we, we say sorry to God and we thank him for the gift of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you because you are our God. And because out of your love, Lord, you gave us Jesus Christ to die on the cross and to pay for all our sin. We thank you because um, you teach us, Father, that even when we sin, oh Lord, you still are our God. You are, sin makes you sad, but does not stop you from being our God. And you also tell us that you gave us forgiveness through Christ freely that all we have to do is just to come to you, apologize and receive that gift to make all things better. And I will thank you because we can have a relationship with you through Christ. We thank you because our sins are forgiven through Christ. We thank you because you love us so much that you gave us your, your son to pay for our sin. Thank you, Lord, for your love. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 God Bye, bless Jayden. you guys. Bye, Jada. I will. I will see you next week. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.